Hi guys, today we wanted to give you a quick tour and demo of how to connect your Almond to our cloud app and uh, sort of a little bit what you can do with it and how to affiliate um, sensors with Almond Plus because we haven't really showed this in any kind of detail so let's get right to it. So this is the cloud affiliation app. You get some instructions here to tell you to log in using the app or the web browser. So here's an Android device. We're running the web app here. So you go into your account settings and you do add Almond. It will load up a new screen here saying link Almond. Uh, so to do that, we need to get a code. So this is fetching a new code from our server. And this is case sensitive and you need to type that into the mobile device. So let me get that done. Okay, so here's the code. So you tap on link almond. And it's a, it gives you a little hooray thing saying, congratulations, you connected, you successfully connect your almond to the cloud. Gives your uh, almond name. You can rename this later. Go down on here. As you can see, it also shows the account that we used to, the email account that we used to connect the cloud app through to the almond. So you know that you're using the right account. But of course now, as you can see in the cloud app, you don't have any sensor connected yet. So how do we do this? So thanks to the touch screen on the Almond, this is really easy. We go to device join, we do associate. This is one of the Tor window sensors that we shipped to our Kickstarter backers. On the inside here we have a button. So we tap on that. And you'll see that it will start adding the device. This takes a little bit because uh, the Almond Plus will be querying the sensor and asking it what kind of functionality it has uh, and a few other things like that. So we get the correct information and we know how to use the sensor. Of course, we have a touchscreen, so we have a touchscreen keyboard here. We can change the name, locations and things like that at the time of actually associating sensors, which makes it a lot easier. Now we still have some work to do on the keyboard here. Oops, typo. Okay, done. Go back. So we have the connected home app here. We can do basic, I need to put this back together. We can do basic sort of testing here. We have the tamper switch. And tamper notification rather. Open, close. So that's all nice and well, but you don't really want to use all your sensors through the touch screen. So let's jump back into the mobile app. And you'll see that we have the same sensor here. Again, let me flip this around. It's a little bit easier to see. Um, you have the option of, oops, sorry about that. Option of actually changing it here, changing the names again. But you can also see that we can open and close the sensor here. So you get real-time notifications. Um, if you want to remove a sensor, especially for uh, Z-Wave devices, you go to remove. And you pretty much do the same thing. In terms of Zigbee, you can press and hold the button for a little while and it tends to remove the devices. There we go, removed. And if you want to disconnect your uh, Almond Plus from the cloud, say you want to move your Almond to a different location or connect it to a different email account, you can do a cloud reset here and it actually removes it from the cloud account. So that was a quick little introduction to the cloud features of the Almond Plus for the home automation and uh, we'll add a little quick bit about show, showing you sort of the web browser and a few different sensors uh, through a desktop computer at the end of this video because it's a little bit easier to show things there, show you how to rename things and sort of the different kind of things you can expect from different types of sensors. So thanks for watching.